Grand Rising, shout out to you two for this wonderful opportunity. Shout out to the WTC family. We the chosen ones. And I want to just talk about the streets, man. How the streets don't got love for no fucking body, man. I got to spark this if y'all don't mind. Because this is about to get real up in here. What's up with everybody? Thank you, YouTube, for this wonderful opportunity once again. But the rapper Slim 400. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the rapper Slim 400. Got shot down. Got killed. I understand what I'm coming from. The rapper Slim 400 got killed, y'all. Let's keep it real, y'all. The streets don't got love for nobody. And this brother was really changing his life around. You think the streets give a damn if you're going to change your life around? They don't give a damn. That's why only things you do for Christ will last, y'all. We're facing a lot of jealousy. We're facing a lot of envy out here, y'all. It's getting real out here, man. We got to wake up and smell the coffee because it's not decaf. Understand what I'm coming from. And just to let you guys know, you guys think love is in the streets. You guys think, you know, all the love and the protection is in the streets. The streets don't love you. That's what you got to understand. The streets don't give a fuck about you. You could be a rapper. You could be a nurse. You could be a police officer. We got police officers out here getting killed on a daily basis. You know why? Cause the streets don't got love for you, dog. The streets don't want to see you doing good because guess what? It's all negativity. It's all bad in the streets. Pay attention. Every time you go in the streets, you see either somebody arguing, somebody about to fight, somebody liquor store and got robbed, somebody just got a, a, a robbed by gunpoint. The devil is a liar, and we put him under our feet. Understand what I'm saying? The devil is busy out here, y'all. And it's around the holidays. The streets don't got love for no motherfucking body, y'all. We got to stay out the way. Stay prayed up. Put God first. Seek His, seek him first in his righteousness and everything else going to be added, y'all. We too busy trying to live for the world. And this dude was a rapper. Trying to make a career. Trying to make ends meet for his family. Find out he got shot and killed. Understand what I'm coming from, y'all. Y'all think the streets gonna protect you? The streets don't give a damn about you. And if you really think about it, the majority of the people that got killed in the streets, a lot of people lately has been getting killed in the streets. You know, usually you hear somebody passing away in the hospital or, you know, somebody died in the convalescent home or something like that. But nowadays, you getting killed in the streets, man. It's got, and it got 10 times worse or 20 times worse. That's why you have to be prayed up. That's why you have to ask God to forgive you for all of your sins because you just never know. We're here today, but we all know tomorrow ain't promised to none of us, y'all. And this rapper, Slim 400, wanted to change his life, man. He wanted to get out of the rap game, but guess what? Once you get in that rap game and you in the streets, it's hard to have one foot in and one foot out. Understand what I'm saying? That's why you have to seek ye first the kingdom of God, y'all. This is a message to all the rappers. Give your life to Christ. Give your life to Jesus, man. Because you just never know who's out there watching you. And people, is they, they are constantly on the move, man. People are constantly on the move. The devil is seeking to whom he, he may devour. I'm keeping it 100 with y'all, man. The streets don't got love for no motherfucking body. We got to learn how to stay out the way. We have to learn how to stay prayed up. And also, we have to learn how to love one another, man. There's too much hatred going on out here for people to be getting killed and shot up. It's not even that serious, y'all. You have to be really, really have a bad heart to take somebody else's life. Understand what I'm coming from. 
I'm going to keep it real with the people. But let me let you know something. God is an all-time God. God sits high and he looks low, y'all. We have to understand these things, man. When you're on this level of success, right? When you're on this super, super high level of success, motherfuckers going to be watching you, man. And that's just straight facts. Your enemies watching, your adversaries watching, friends is watching, family members watching. You don't know who really watching you. But let me tell you something. You're covered under the blood of Jesus. I'm covered under the blood of Jesus. No weapon formed against me, no weapon formed against you will prosper. I'm, I'm talking about all the motivational speakers, all the people here that, that have a YouTube channel that's putting out good. You know the devil is watching. You know the devil is plotting. You know the devil is planning. So what we got to do is we got to keep that devil under our foot. I need everybody to share this video, man. Because I'm going in like the Yin Yang Twins, baby. I'm going in. The streets don't give a fuck about you. Trust me, I know. I used to live in the fucking streets. I know all about the streets. It's dangerous. It's a cold fucking world out here. We're living in a cold cruel fucking world that's why they say many are called but a few are chosen it's only a very few chosen out here that's gonna really draw all men unto the lord that's why i'm telling you guys chosen ones listen the time is now we gotta do what we need to do to draw men into christ we're we're wasting time we got cats out there really dependent on us because they know that we're we're, we're sent from god you wonder why you go around people, people ask me to pray over the food. People ask me to pray for them because they know I'm the chosen one. They know God sent me. People ain't going to just ask anybody to pray for them. Understand where I'm coming from. It's just something that people know and they see. They see God all inside of you. People always ask me to pray for them because they know. They know my energy. They feel my spirit. They know I love God. We're living in our last days, y'all. The streets don't love nobody. Let me tell you something. It's around the holidays. Get you somewhere and, 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 and set you a bonfire in your own backyard. Fuck going to the beach. Make you a nice bonfire in the backyard. Understand what I'm coming from. Well, even if you got to go to the beach, go to the beach at peace. Make your own bonfire. Understand what I'm saying? Uh, uh, roast your marshmallows on your own fire at your own time. Because I'm going to tell you something. When it's around the holidays, you want to be cool. You want to be prayed up. Because guess what? People are watching. This is the season of people buying gifts. People buying other people new cars. That means people got money to spend. And people are out watching to see who they can get. Catch slipping. And once they catch you slipping, you can never say, I didn't tell you so. I mean, shit happens, but you have to be watchful. You have to be prayerful. You feel me? And this rapper, Slim 400, he wanted to change his life, man. Shout out to the rappers out there that's really trying to change their lives. I feel where you're coming from. But I'm telling you guys now, the time is now give your life to god man surrender all into the lord he the only one that cares about you man these streets don't love y'all and they'd be some talented rappers young rappers these rappers are young these rappers are in their late 20s early 30s they still had a whole life ahead of them. But let me tell you something. You think people in the streets give a damn? People in the streets are already going through enough hell as it is. They, they ready to take out their energy on you. That's what I'm telling you guys. Energy is fucking real. Energy is everything. These spirits are contagious. Y'all think I'm lying and playing with y'all. I'm not making these videos I'm just chasing for views or chasing for fucking clout. I was sent here to do this shit. I've been seeing this shit for years. I could have been made a YouTube channel years ago. But it's a time and place for everything. It's a time and place for the chosen ones to really come out and say, hey, man, this is what's happening. See, God gave the chosen ones vision. And we make them plain. 
God send messages to the chosen ones and we send out the messages from God. He shows us, man, in our dreams, in our visions. He shows us in our dark, in our thoughts. All we think about is change. Because I'm telling you, man, it's the chosen one that's going to really change the world. But we have to come together. So if you want to be a part of the WTC family, which stands for we the chosen ones, and we're striving for Jesus, come on, get it right, y'all. Don't misconstrue it. Get it right. If you want to be a part of the WTC mentoring program, I will get you to the next level. Send me an email. Jordan underscore Howard 18 at yahoo.com. Understand where I'm coming from. If you want to get to the next level, I got you. Because guess what? God did it for me. And I know he showed up going to do it for you. I need everybody to comment 1111 right now. Because new beginnings are on its way. New beginnings are at our front door. God just waiting for us to wake up. Wipe the boogers out of our eyes. And answer his uh, his knock on the door. Because the new beginnings is right at our door. Understand what I'm saying? The UPS man is on his way. Delivering your new package. Your new beginnings. Because all former things are passed away, y'all. The streets don't love no motherfucking body, y'all. I'm keeping it 100 with y'all, man. It's a cold motherfucking world out here. You have to be careful for nothing in all things through prayer and supplication. Be low key. Stay out the way. You ain't got to go to every function. You ain't got to go to every party. If you do go out, be prayed up, be oiled up, be anointed up. Because I'm telling you, the devil is looking and seeking to whom he may devour. Be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abiding in the work of God. Amen. Shout out to the chosen ones. Shout out to the star seeds. Shout out to the divine ones of the world. Because I'm going to tell you something. You guys are going to make a difference in the world. These people out here, they need you, man. Mentally, spiritually, emotionally. These people need you, y'all. I'm telling y'all, y'all better pay attention. We're living in our last and evil days. People are really going through it right now, y'all. Y'all think it's because the holidays ain't nobody going through it? Shit. Y'all better wake up. A lot of people ain't working. So you know what that means when a lot of people ain't working. It's not going to be a lot of gifts given this year. Because a lot of people ain't working. It's about to get real. But people don't realize it's not really about the gifts on Christmas. It's about the Lord Jesus Christ. That's Jesus' birthday. We should be giving all kind of gifts and praise to the Lord. Because he the one that gave us these gifts. He gave us gifts, different talents, you know, anointing. He gave us the anointing. He made us the chosen one. He knows it's hard out here. God knows it's going to be hard out here. So that's why he sent his son and he called him Jesus. Stay out the way, people. This is the time to, to be low-key and put God first in everything you do. Because I'm going to tell you something. These people out here, spiritually, they need Jesus. And you don't want to mess with a person that don't have Jesus, that don't love God, that don't believe in God. You don't want to be around it. Have you ever been around somebody that don't love Jesus and you can feel their energy? You can really feel their spirit. You don't want to be around that. Be ye separate. Come out from amongst these folks, y'all. I'm telling you. God got you. Rest in peace to the rapper. 
Slim 400. Rest in peace to all the rappers that passed away. Rest in peace to all the ones that lost their lives this year and last year and the year before that when the COVID started. Rest in peace to people that, that really, really were icons to this world. Rest in peace to Tupac. Rest in peace to Martin Luther King. Rest in peace to Biggie. Rest in peace to these icons, man, because they left a mark. But let me tell you something. These streets don't love nobody, dog. Put all your trust in the Lord, I promise you, and he will renew your strength. I need everybody to subscribe to my channel right now. I need everybody to like this video. I need everybody to comment and leave it below. But most importantly, I really, really need everybody to share this video. Wherever you share it, share this video because I'm telling you something, guys. Jesus is the reason for the season. And we have to be prayed up. No weapon formed against us will prosper in Jesus' name. Understand where I'm coming from. If you guys really want to be a part of the WTC family, because we just added some more members to the WTC family. We the chosen ones, baby. Welcome to the new crew members. They know who I'm talking about. Welcome. We going up, baby. There's about to be so many people joining the WTC family. I can't wait for the first retreat. The first retreat going to be so many people, y'all. Y'all better be ready. Because as the leader of the WTC family, we're going all the way for Jesus. And when we get together, what a time, what a time, what a time. It can't beat us, uh, we the chosen ones, if we're outnumbering people. But we're outnumbering people for the right reasons. Just imagine if you see a lot of we the chosen ones. Almost thousands, amongst thousands of we the chosen ones. But we're all positive. We're all praying for one another. We all passing out flyers saying Jesus is the only way. Give your all to Jesus. Telling people we love them and there's nothing they can do about it. Imagine if we really, really travel the world and start telling people, hey man, I love you and there's nothing you can do about it. But we all stick together. We all ride together. We all start together. That's the kind of retreats we're going to be having. Ministering to other people. Because somebody really don't know who Jesus really is. Until somebody else tell them who Jesus is. Until somebody show them who Jesus is. Sometimes people ain't got to tell you who Jesus is. Sometimes people will show you who Jesus is by their actions. Jesus is real. You know how I know he's real? Because he lives inside of me. God is love, y'all. God is a spirit. And if we don't put that man first, we won't get none of these things. Why you think you're getting blessings on top of blessings on top of blessings? Because you put that man first. Because he know your heart is true. come out from amongst these people because these people don't want to see God y'all there's no love in these streets y'all and you want me to tell you how I know there's no love in these streets because I was living in the streets for two years straight I don't see a lot of things but guess what by the grace of God and by his protection they didn't see me but I see a lot of things happening in the streets didn't say not one word Because it's none of my business, number one. And number two, God had to reveal some things to me. Of course, I, I remove myself. Resist the devil and he will flee. You don't want to stay nowhere when there's a lot of chaos, a lot of drama. You want to immediately remove yourself. That's why they say resist the devil and he will flee. When you feel bad energy around you, remove yourself. 
That's God intuition warning you that warning that destruction is near. Sometimes we got to shut up and listen to what the spirit is saying. Because we're facing spiritual warfare, everybody not going to like you. Everybody not going to love you. People, true colors are going to come out. That's just straight facts. Be ye separate. Come out from amongst these folks, man. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad. God is good. And I'm going to keep preaching and proclaiming the gospel of Jesus Christ, whether people like it or not. I'm going to keep it cold, cold, raw with you, man. I'm not perfect, but guess what? I'm worth it. There's no love in these streets. The only love you're going to ever receive is from the love of, of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the only true love you're going to ever receive in this life. As long as you live, as long as you got breath in your body. That's the only love you're going to ever receive is from the Lord Jesus Christ. There's no greater love. No greater love you will ever find. Then in the Lord Jesus Christ, you won't find no greater love. God is good, y'all. Shout out to all over the world. I love each and every one of you guys viewing right now. Enemies, adversaries, and all. I love each and everybody in the world. When you're chosen, you love everybody. That's just straight facts. People tell me, oh, why are you so gullible? Or why are you so vulnerable? You know, when I was younger. Because I love people. And that's what God wants us to do. He wants us to love our enemies. He wants us to love our adversaries. Love people that mistreat you. You don't go tit for tat with people. You love people. Because they don't know who you are. They don't know what they're doing. But that because you love somebody don't mean you got to love them up close. You got to learn how to love people from a distance. Because you know where these people are coming from. Understand where I'm coming from. Just like they beat Jesus. Just like they crucified Jesus. He could have easily fought back. He's Jesus. But guess what? It needed to be done to show his love. Why you think he died on the cross for our sins, y'all? Why he think he hung on that cross? Hung his head. Pierced in the side. Crown of thorns on his head. It had to be done so we can have the right to the tree of life, y'all. Come on now. These streets don't got love for nobody, y'all. Y'all be careful out there. I'm praying for each and every one of you guys. I'm praying for all the rappers that they'll turn their life into, into, into God's hands in Jesus' name. I'm praying for all the rappers out there. God going to do it for you. God going to protect you. But you have to seek him with all your heart. Stay out the way. Because the devil is seeking to whom he may devour. But he a liar and the truth ain't in him. If you guys have any prayer requests, any testimonies, email me. Jordan underscore Howard, the number one eight at yahoo.com. If you guys would love to be a blessing to my YouTube channel, my cash app is God will provide three zero. I also have PayPal as well. My PayPal is God will provide three zero. Given it shall be given unto you. Trust me. Support the movement. Support the WTC family. We the chosen ones, baby. I'm going to get you to the next level. Understand what I'm saying. Sign up for my mentoring program. I'm going to get you to the next level. Join my one-on-one -on -one session. One-on-one. -on -one. one hour. I'm going to get you to the next level. Because guess what? I've been through it. I know exactly what you're going to go through. Trust me. Because I've been through it. Any prayer requests, any testimonies, I got you. You need anybody to vent to, email me. 
My cash app and my PayPal will be in the description. And just know if God is for you, can nobody be against you? No weapon formed against you guys will prosper in the name of Jesus. And just know if you need a friend, you know you got it in me. If you need prayer, you have a prayer warrior in me. If you need motivation, if you need inspiration, you have the best motivational speaker in the whole wide world in me. That's right. I said it in the whole wide world. And the only reason why I say that is because I keep it real. We the chosen ones. Be blessed.